Hello everyone, welcome to Gamtai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a woman's mesh stitch shrug. Today we're going to be using this Lion Brand Mandela Sparkle Yarn. It is such a cute yarn and it is an ombre yarn so it's going to change colors. It is 328 yards. I have two skeins of this and it requires, it asks for a 5 millimeter hook. So I have my 5mm hook here and I bought these mermaid hooks. They were not expensive at all and they're so cute. So for my garment, it is 156 chains. That 56 chain is your turning chain. But I'm going to make a short amount of chains. I'm only going to chain 10 and I'm going to show you how to begin. So I have my 10 chains here. And so that we can have nine chains, we need to have an uneven number of chains. We're going to skip that first stitch, which is the turning chain, and go into the next stitch with a single crochet. And just single crochet all the way across your garment. So now I have my nine single crochets here. And I've begun to get into the habit of making a double crochet stack. And what a double crochet stack is, it's just eliminating the chain. So go into your stitch and make a single crochet. Once you've made your single crochet, you have two loops. Go into that back loop and make a single crochet. And that's your double crochet stack. So now you're going to chain two here. And this is just so that we have a space in between. You're going to skip that next stitch and go into your next stitch with a double crochet. And that is how you make your mess stitch. Now I am at the end of the row and I have two more stitches yet left. So now I'm gonna skip one again and go into that last stitch with a double crochet. And that is why we make our chain an even number of chain and skip that first stitch to have an uneven number of chains because that's how you work your mesh stitch with an uneven number of chains. So now I've made my double crochet here and I'm going to go back in again with another double crochet stack. I'm going to show you how to do that one more time. So go into your stitch with a single crochet. Go into that back loop and make another single crochet and then chain two again and then make your way over to the next stitch and make a double crochet. Chain one and another, I mean, and then skip another stitch, go into the next stitch, chain one and do that over and over again. Okay, so I'm back and I have 30 rows of my mesh stitch here. Um, as you can see with the colors, they're going to change as you go through. And what I've been noticing that um, for each color, it usually gives you about three or four rows of the same color before it moves on to the next color. So now what we're going to do is you're going to take your garment and fold it in half lengthwise so that it can be really long going across. And I'm just bringing my two ends together here. We are back um, at the bottom of the garment. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some single crochets going all the way around so we can um, add more as we go. So what you want to do is just go right into that, go into your stitch, the very first stitches and bring them together, both panels, both sides. And go ahead and add your yarn in there and then make a slip knot a slip stitch rather and now you're just going to separate your two panels and you're going to single crochet into each of these spaces so you're going to put two single crochets into each space make sure that you are crocheting in your um, extra yarn Okay, so now I am at the end and I'm going to make another single crochet here. 
Now we're going to combine these two ends together because we want to continue with our single crochets going around. So I only have one stitch in that last mesh and go in with your other single crochet but you're going to attach the other yarn, the other um, panel, the other side of your work. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning where we made our two single crochets into the mesh stitch. So now I'm just going into that first stitch and making a slip stitch and chaining one. So now if you want to, you can make another row. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my work to the side so we can work on those sleeves. Now we're not going to do anything different. We're going to continue with the mesh stitch with the sleeves here. We're just going along the sides now instead of um, vertically or horizontally, whatever that is. So I'm going to continue making the rest of these single crochets here. When I make my final one, I'm going to chain two and then go right in top of that next mesh, that next double crochet from the mesh stitch and make a double crochet and chain one. And then just continue making your mesh stitches. Just follow along. You're going right on top of the stitch. Okay, so I am back to the beginning and I'm just yawning over and going right into that very last stitch. It is the stitch that connects those two panels together. Um, it might be a little hard to get it in there at first, but it is essential that you get that double crochet into that stitch there. I'm sorry, slip stitch into that stitch. That is that very first stitch that I made before I began going around. So now I'm going to chain two and just continue with my pattern. So once I've chained two, go right into that stitch, that double crochet that you made for the mesh stitch, make your double crochet and chain one and just continue on. Okay, so now I have my, I have nine rows here of my mesh stitch. You can make more if you want to, if you want it to come a little further down um, past your fingers, you can do that as well. So I'm, I'm going to move on to the next stitch, the other side, but I just want to show you what I did here. When I was done and I did my slip stitch, I made sure that it was right up under that arm so that it can't be seen. And you can also add a row of single crochets if you want to. So when I come back, I'm going to be on the other side. Okay, so now I'm on the other side and you just simply do the same thing you did before. But instead, we're going to slip stitch right into this first double crochet. Go ahead and add your yarn and then continue making your mesh stitch. Okay, so now that I have my sides sewn in, please ignore my stitch markers. It just helps me with counting my stitches. I'm going to now make some single crochets going all the way around this garment. So I'm going to grab my yarn and go ahead and go into that first stitch and make your slip stitch and then go back into the stitch with a single crochet. I have to try to remember to stay in the camera. I have such a small workspace. So now just make your single crochets all the way across, making sure that you add in your tail there. Go ahead and crochet in that tail so you don't have to worry about weaving it in later on. And I'm going to continue making my way all the way around with these single crochets and I will be back. Okay, so this is what your single crochets look like when you go all the way around. You can make another row if you want to. That is completely up to you. This garment is adjustable. And you can also make it for a little one as well, a little girl. So go ahead and give it a try. I'm just trying to get it together here and show you the sleeves, what the sleeves look like. That's nine rows there of that mesh stitch. And this is the garment here. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Have a great, great day. Bye-bye. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in the end. Bye-bye. <laughs>
show you a place where you gon' wanna move.